Okay, so I really hope that my camera doesn't fall off the window ledge that is precariously sitting on the tripod onto the floor because if it falls onto the floor, my camera will die. Spruce up the hair. Let's get a bit of volume in there. Bit of self sprucey. Self sprucey? Natalie and welcome to Up Your Vlog. So today I thought that I would do a Christmas Lush haul, seeing as my room is looking quite Christmassy at the moment. I've got the fairy lights um, that I got from Sainsbury's for £2 um, all along my headboard and then this little duvet cover here, this new duvet cover which I love and I'm gonna have to change today because we've had it on for about a week and a half and that's pretty grim. Um, this is a stag sort of themed duvet that I got from a company called Elinins. You can check their company out on my blog. Um, I did a review for their new website um, and they sell really nice duvet covers, um, bed sheets, throws, bathroom accessories, kids duvets, all for really good value for money. Uh, much cheaper than you'd find in supermarkets and all of these sort of high street retail stores um, and they are beautiful quality as well. And then this little thing here, this lovely diamond throw was given to me by my beautiful friend Hannah for Christmas and it's an early Christmas present because we obviously we won't see each other over Christmas because we will be with our families and so it goes just so beautifully it's as if she knew she knew she knew what I like we just know each other so well anyway back to the Lush um, I'm about to show you what I got from the Lush store in Oxford Street and um, there is one exclusive in there I think one exclusive yeah, there is one exclusive in there that you won't find anywhere else, which is very exciting. But yeah, let me show you what Lush has in store for Christmas. So the first thing that I got was the Magic of Christmas bubble bar wand. This beautiful little bubble bar wand is similar to the Magic wand, which is a snow fairy scent. But this one, this one has sweet orange oil. It also has um, almond oil as well. So it's really moisturizing for the skin. So really good for sensitive skin and dry skin. And then it also has cinnamon leaf oil in as well. And I am a massive fan of anything cinnamon. And the spicier the better. Um, I find that most smells that people won't like, I will like. Like this is just beautiful. Oh, I think I've probably got some glitter on my nose. So you've got this golden luster that sits on the top and you've also got this cinnamon clove in the middle along with a few little cinnamon buds. I think they're cinnamon buds, yeah. Um, it comes on a cinnamon stick which is really cute and it also has a little, little bell. Look at it. Ah! <laughs> So the next thing that I got was five gold rings. These are actually three gold rings because I've used two already. So it's tied together with this orange sort of papery um, tissue paper string. Um, and there's normally five uh, golden rings on there. Um, and yeah, these are really lovely and glittery golden rings. Um, again, the same thing that you would do with the bubble bar. You just break a little piece off or you can break the whole ring off or you can break two or three rings off. Crumble under the water and it creates lovely fluffy bubbles um, that are just super luxurious and it turns the bath water a really kind of deep orange festive colour. You've got some fair trade vanilla in there so you know it's going to be really sweet. You've got some fair trade vanilla in there. You've also got some Tonka Absolute which is that sort of musky smell that you can smell just behind the vanilla but it's super good um, and it will leave your bath water just beautiful and you will be beautiful. I used two of these when Hannah came round and she needed a little bit of a pick-me-up and I treated her to a really luxurious bath um, with a mixture of a bath bomb, bubble bar and bath melt um, and yeah I used two only because I found that one didn't seem quite enough for me. It didn't seem to have enough bubbles, but that's fine. It's all down to preference. Um, you can use the one, you can use two, you can use three, you can use all five if you want to, but minimum guarantee you're gonna get three or four baths out of this, so it's perfect. Up next is the So White bath bomb. Now this bath bomb is beautiful. Now unfortunately, on the way from transferring all my bath bombs and all my goodies um, into this room from the bathroom, I dropped this one on the floor and therefore broke a little bit off. So I'll show you the front first. It's a nice white, oh, balls. So it's just a plain white exterior. It has a smell of like crisp apples. It is a gorgeous floral scent. You've got bergamot oil in there, which is a really uplifting oil. You've also got neroli oil in there, which is a natural antidepressant. So you will come out of the bath feeling happier than you went in. You've got orange flower absolute in there and you've also got rose absolute. So it's a really nice concoction and it just smells beautiful. And it's white on the outside, but then you've got a bit of pink in the inside, hence the broken bit there. <laughs> 
I'm such a clumsy fool. The next thing that I got was something exclusive to Lush Oxford Street and, and it is the bath melts. This is the Snow White bath melt. Now the bath melts are aimed um, to more how they benefit the skin um, rather than a bath bomb which is all about the spectacle and creating a lovely sort of fragrance and colour in the bath and then you've got your bubble bars which creates lots of bubbles. They all have really nice oils in, they all do lots of gorgeous things for your skin but these focus more on how they can benefit your skin. Um, you've got lemon oil and peppermint oil in this one. This is a Christmas um, edition and it is just gorgeous. It's great for cleansing your skin and when you come out of the bath you'll feel very, very clean, very rejuvenated, very refreshed. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing. The next thing that I got is this beautiful peeping Santa. I love in store how they all come in different little shapes and sizes. Some have a bit more of the sheer and cocoa butter inside. Some have their uh, their chocolate drops kind of all over the place so they each have a sort of quirky character in themselves. Um, this is a gorgeous one. You've got that sort of strawberry scentedness to it and it is made out of real strawberries. You've also got the sheer and cocoa butter in there which is a really moisturising um, butter. And then you've also got his little chocolate drop eyes in the middle. It's gorgeous. Again, it's a bubble bar. So you just break a piece off, crumble it under the water until you create lots of bubbles that you're happy with. Um, and you could probably get two or three baths out of this one as well. The next one is one of my absolute favourites. It is the Cinder's Bath Bomb. The Cinder's Bath Bomb is a really sort of fruity slash cinnamony fragrance again i love cinnamon and this has cinnamon in you've also got popping candy on the top so that when you pop it in the bath you can actually hear the popping candy um, going off um, it is really cute and it just kind of takes me back to my childhood with popping candy and it's just one of those bath bombs that I love and love putting into my bath especially when it's during the winter time and it's quite cold outside you need something to kind of warm you up and help you relax and this just does it every time every time the next thing that I got was a beast of a bath bomb and it is the golden wonders bath bomb and uh, it is that big it doesn't really fit into the bag properly this would be the perfect stocking filler present if you're kind of last minute buying um, wherever you may be um, this is just perfect for any age. It's got a beautiful golden luster around the outside, which is hand sprayed back in the manufacturers in Poole, in Dorset. Um, and inside you've got a lovely bright green um, colour along with some really lovely pretty golden stars, which I think are edible as well, but I wouldn't recommend you eat them. Ops. So you've got a bit of Cognac oil in there. Is that how you pronounce it? Cognac? brandy you've got some orange oil in there and you've also got some lime oil in there so it's a really kind of citrusy smell really fresh scent and again a beautiful christmas gift luxury lush pud is up next so this is an absolute beauty in the bath um once you drop it in um a lot of it fizzes quite quickly but you've got the little um kind of buttons of color that are slow fizzes so they all kind of rise to the top and fizz really slowly so that you've actually got a multitude of colours in your bath water. It's a very pretty sight, ideal for kids definitely, but then for adults as well because let's face it, I'm a kid in an adult's body and I will never grow up and I love stuff like this. It just appeases my inner child. Um, it's got lavender in so it's a really relaxing bath bomb, really good for those with sensitive skin or if you just struggle to kind of relax in the evening or you know you just want to kind of wind down, take a little bit of time, maybe you've had a stressful day, this is perfect. Maybe you could use this on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve especially because I struggle to get to sleep at night even though I'm 23 years old and I know that Santa doesn't visit me anymore and you know it's just beautiful it'll help me relax it'll help me get to sleep and then wake up in the morning really excited for Christmas Day so again you've got lavender oil in there you've got ylang ylang oil in there which I think is an aphrodisiac and you've also got Tonka Absolute in there so you've got a little bit of musk behind that gorgeous lavender it's beautiful one of my favorite bath bombs coming up next this is the dashing Santa Dashing Santa, from what I know, was inspired by um, the Lush logo when they were called On The Go Cosmetics um, and they had a logo of a running man uh, with a bag and I think that was inspired for this. 
I could be completely wrong. I'm sorry if I'm wrong in any way, shape or form, but I believe that's what it was about. Inside you've got bergamot oil, which again is a very lifting oil. You've also got orange flower absolute, so it's a quite a, again, citrusy scent. And then you've also got a snowflake luster on top so that you have that silvery um, white luster just on the surface of your water and it is absolutely beautiful. The next one is a Yognog bath bomb. Now I'm gonna take this out very carefully. Uh, Cause it's breaking apart. I'm gonna try and hold it up. So the Yognog bath bomb is probably one of my favorite bath bombs. It's got that really kind of spicy um, scent to it. And it's just one of those typically Christmas um, festive um, fragrances. And I love it so much, it's my absolute favorite. And it's got a lovely combination of oils that will help you relax and help you just get rid of any stress that Christmas has given you, which is probably a lot. The next one is the Snow Angel Bath Melt. So the Snow Angel Bath Melt, again, is something that you just pop into the bath and let it float away, leaving a really lovely creamy water and a really golden sort of colour. Again, you've got some fair trade cocoa butter, which is really going to nourish the skin, and then you've also got some Rose Absolute as well. So it's a really floral scent, um, a really gorgeous combination, which is really going to help people who tend to get a bit of sensitivity on their skin and for those who suffer from dry skin during the winter definitely me. And last but not least is the Father Christmas Bath Bomb. This cheeky chappy has the same sort of scent as the Snow Fairy um, shower gel. It is gorgeous, it smells like candy floss and it is the perfect sweet treat around Christmas time. It starts off a pinky white in the water and then it goes this really deep holly green. It's gorgeous. This is the essence of Christmas in a bath bomb. I hope you enjoyed my Lush haul. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will leave a link to all the bath bombs and bubble bars and the bath melt that I brought so that you can see them. Um, and also check out my blog as well because I'm blogging daily at the moment which I really enjoy and I've seen a great sort of response from my readers which I love so please go and follow that for me too. And I will see you next week for another video. Have a great Christmas guys. Bye! Christmas time! Time to say a baby boy. Hair all over me. This is the problem with people with long hair is that you molt crazily. Like I have to, I have to hoover so often. Um, this is tight. So this is blah, 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 for the whole kind of five gold rings on a and a portrait in a battery. Uh, nose. Mmm.